It's a new season for Loyola's men's volleyball team, and if you've gone to a game this season, you might have noticed a few familiar faces missing. Star outside hitter Thomas Jeske and the now former head coach Shane Davis are no longer Ramblers. Jeske announced in July that he would be foregoing his senior season to go play professional volleyball in Poland. He said this was not an easy decision for him. Like at, at that point, I was kind of like, you know, trying to think, well, I want to make the Olympic team. And like, you know, if I went back to school and I didn't make the Olympic team, then I would think, you know, what if I had left? And if I leave and I don't make the Olympic team, then at least I know like I did everything I could to try and make that team. Um, it all happened really, really fast. And obviously it's a cool experience for me and like life changing for sure. While at Loyola, Jeske was named the 2014 and 15 Conference Player of the Year. During his final season as a Rambler, he led the team in kills, digs, and service aces. Another bombshell shook the team when head coach Shane Davis announced his resignation six days before Loyola played their first game of the season. Davis had accepted a new head coaching position at Northwestern University coaching women's volleyball. After spending nearly half his life at Loyola, he decided it was time to move on. But he said it wasn't easy. It was the, the toughest decision of my life. It was leaving 18 years uh, of Loyola behind me, and it spent over half my life at Loyola. You know, I got married there, you know, in the Madonna del Estrada. So there was just so much history and so many relationships there that it was... It was really tough. During his 12-season tenure, Davis became the winningest coach in program history. He won two consecutive NCAA National Championship titles, three consecutive conference championship titles, four conference Coach of the Year accolades, and a National Coach of the Year honor, only to name a few of his many accomplishments. The Rammers were off to a slow start of the season without Davis and Jeske, but they seem to have picked up their tempo, tempo after they swept through a four-match homestand. The most recent one being against the University of Charleston, where the Rammers were led by Ben Playset and Will Tischler, who rallied eight kills apiece. The Rammers will open up Miva Play this weekend as they take on Quincy and Lindenwood. For the Rammers Sports Locker, I'm Madeline Kenny.